Hello everyone, welcome to the Neat Kit. This is Dr. Sumeya Khan back with another video. So today, guys, we are going to discuss a very important topic that is the Hardy-Weinberg principle. You know, keeping in mind that you know the principle, I'll be taking an equation and then we are going to discuss the questions based on these. I'll cover all the type of MCQs that are expected to come in the Neat 2020. So do follow the values might change but the concept remains the same. So let's begin first of all with actually what is a Hardy-Weinberg equation is. So Hardy-Weinberg equation says that P square plus 2PQ or Q square is equals to one, or you can simply write down it as P square plus Q square plus 2PQ is equals to one, and P plus Q is equals to one. Now you might be thinking, what are these? What is P, what is Q, or what is 2PQ? or what is p square and q square. So p represents the frequency of the dominant allele in the population. Q represents frequency of recessive allele in the population. What are these square root of these? So p square represents those percentage of the individuals in a population which are homozygous dominant in nature. Okay, so p square represents percentage of homozygous dominant individuals Q square represents the percentage of homozygous recessive individuals and 2PQ represents the percentage of heterozygous individuals in our population. So this is your P square, this is your 2PQ and this is your Q square. So keeping in mind that you know other concepts of the Hardy-Weinberg equation, I'll take you directly to the questions which can be asked based on this equation. Every year or almost every alternate year, we get the question based on the Hardy-Weinberg. So let's come to the first question. The first question says that in a Hardy-Weinberg equation, the frequency of heterozygous individual is represented by. So what they are asking, they are asking about the frequency of heterozygous individuals. These are your options: PQ, Q square, P square, and 2PQ. So P Q square represents what? It represents the number of individuals or percentage of the individuals which are homozygous recessive in nature. P square represents homozygous dominant individuals and 2PQ actually represents the frequency of heterozygous individuals in a population. This was a question and this is a simple question directly asked based on the equation. And this answer is 2PQ. So 2PQ represents the frequency of heterozygous individuals in a population. Guys, this question was asked in May 2016. So you can see sometimes a very simple direct equation based question can be asked. Now, let's come to the next question. The next question says that a gene locus has two alleles, capital A and small a. If the frequency of dominant allele is 0.4, then what is the frequency of homozygous dominant heterozygous and homozygous recessive individuals in our population. This is a NEED 2019 question. So you can understand the importance of this question. So firstly, you have to always write down what are given in the question. Coming to the options, these are your options. So the frequency of the dominant allele is, so dominant allele we represent by P. So it is given as 0.4. So what you have to find out, you have to find the frequencies of homozygous dominant individuals. From the equation P plus Q is equals to 1. This I told you, right? Keeping 0.4 here, what you get, guys, you'll get 0.6 as your Q value. That means now you have the frequency of homozygous dominant as well as frequency of homozygous recessive. Okay, or recessive individuals, frequency of the recessive one. So you have to find out the first part said, what will the frequency of homozygous dominant? So P square represents your homozygous dominant. So you will just say, state this 0.4 square, you'll come out be 0.16. So this is the frequency of the homozygous dominant. Now heterozygous, heterozygous, I told you, we represent by 2PQ. So you just multiply 2 into 0.4 into 0 0.6 and you will simply get what? You will simply get the 0.48, okay? Now, the next thing is we have to calculate the homozygous individuals, recessive individuals. That is represented by Q square. So if you take a Q square, that Q value is 0.6. If you take the square root of this, you'll get 0.36. 
So what will be your answer? The answer is 0 0.16, 0 0.48 for the heterozygous and 0.36 for the homozygous recessive individuals. So for your better understanding, I have brought a complete explanation for this question that the frequency of the dominant allele is represented by 0 0.4, frequency of recessive allele is represented by 0 0.6, frequency of homozygous dominant individuals will be P square, Q square and 2PQ will calculate and you'll get the all the answers of your question. So I hope this concept is clear. This question is important because it covers, you know, different types of question. And from this question, you can make two questions also based on direct asking you the frequency and directly asking you the frequency of the individuals, whether it is homozygous, heterozygous or homozygous recessive. Now, let's go ahead with the next question. In the Caucasian population of the US, one in 2,500 babies is affected by recessive condition that is cystic fibrosis. What they have given, they are talking about the Q values, right? In this population, we have to calculate the frequency of the dominant LE, that is we have to find out about the P. First of all, always read the question, write the values given, what, whether they are asking about the P, whether they are asking about the Q, whether they are asking about the 2PQ, always write it, that makes your question more easy for you to understand. Here comes your options. So what they have given, they have given us as the value of the Q square, which is one by 2,500. So if you take the under root of this Q square, it comes out to be one upon 50. So this is the value of Q. Now P plus Q is equals to one. From this, you can calculate the frequency of the dominant allele. So what is the explanation for this question? That Q square is equals to one by 2,500 and Q is equals to one by 50. This comes out to be 0 0.02. And from P plus Q is equals to one, you can calculate the value of the P, which comes out to be 0 0.98. So your answer is D guys. So this is the question this is an important question okay giving a value because sometimes you know the students get confused what is this actually given in one in 2500 babies okay whether it is a q square or whether it is a q so it is actually a q square because they are talking about the number of individuals okay not a frequency of a particular allele now let's come to the another question a population will not exist in a hardy weinberg equilibrium of these other options the option says that the population is large, individuals made selectively, there are no mutations and there is no migration. You know, for the population to follow the hardy weinberg equilibrium, there's always certain rules to follow. First of all, this equation is always followed for a large size population. Okay, always the population should be large in size, then only a hardy weinberg equilibrium is going to exist there. Second thing, there should be no mutation, there should be no migrations. Okay, so it is basically a condition of the ideal situations. Now the B option says that individuals mate selectively. That is, they are talking about basically sexual selection. That is, you can choose among your mates to whom you wanted to mate. But in a hardy weinberg equilibrium, there is no sexual selection. They are based on the random mating actually. That's why the answer is B, okay? Because the factors that affecting hardy weinberg equilibrium include presence of random mating in them. Why the random mating is important? Because the population remains in the balance with different allelic frequencies due to its random mating. So random mating may leads to the balance in the different allelic frequencies. So your answer is B here. Now, let's go ahead with the next question. The next question says that 360 out of 1000 individuals in a population have a genotype AA, that is homozygous dominant, 480 heterozygous, 160, they are talking about homozygous recessive. They're asking about the frequency of the allele A in this population, that is they are asking about the frequency of the dominant allele, which will be represented by P. Okay, these are your options. So they are asking about 360, by 1000, okay, will give you what? It will give you 0.36, which is what? Which is your P square, because they are talking about the number of individuals having the genotype. So if you wanted to calculate the value of P, you will take the under root of this 0.36, which comes out to be 0.6, okay? So the frequency of allele A in this population will be given by what? By 0.6. They can calculate if they are asking you other things also. There is a probability they can, they can ask you the frequency of the heterozygous also as well as recessive also. 
so how you will calculate you will calculate by 480 by 1000 okay this will give you q square and by taking the under root of the q square you will get the answer of the q similarly for 160 by 1000 you can calculate the 2pq also okay so this will give you the allelic frequency of the heterozygous individual so this is how you can calculate for each of them but they have just asked us about the frequency of allele a in this population so our answer is 0.6 so let's come to the next question now the next question says that consider a population of sheep to be in hardy weinberg equilibrium there is a population of a sheep which we consider that it follows a hardy weinberg equilibrium the allele for black wool w has small w has an allele frequency of 0.281 while the allele for white wool that is capital w has an allele frequency of 0.19 then the percentage of heterozygous individual that means they are asking about 2pq okay this is your q value right and this white wool which is dominant in nature this is given as p value so we have to calculate about the 2pq here is your options given so how will you calculate the heterozygous individual the percentage 2pq how to multiply the value of the p given that is 0.19 You'll multiply it by 0.81 it comes out to be about 0 0.307 which is almost equivalent to 3 0.31 percent okay so you have to calculate in terms of the percentage so if you can convert it into percentage it will become as 31 percent so this is how you can calculate this here also is an explanation given here that according to the hardy weinberg equilibrium heterozygous are represented by 2pq therefore the number of heterozygous individuals is equal to 2pq okay and which will be equal to 2 into 0.19 into 0.18 is equal to 0 0.31 which will be equal to 31 percent that is 31 percent individuals in a population will have been heterozygous individuals okay in case of the sheep population we are asking so the answer comes out to be the c option now i hope this video is clear guys i have tried to cover almost each and every question which can be asked in NEET 2020 so do follow me on the NEET game and please do subscribe and like and share my channel and keep watching the videos i'll come up with the next video very soon guys i hope you like the video do share it thank you so much